guys have her get up and then just don't wanna don't wanna get up. I've been planning this day for two weeks and I don't wanna get out of bed. Good morning everyone. So welcome to this perhaps new video attempt, I suppose. Today we're going to be doing something slightly different. I've been planning it for a little while, but if you're anything like me, you spend some time on social media, you see all these beautiful, beautiful videos and photographs and you wonder, how does one actually live like that? I will attempt today to be aesthetic all the day, throughout the day. I actually think it's going to be exhausting, <laughs> but we're going to give it a go. I really want to see how much planning how much it takes to be aesthetic. So today we are going on a day out to Hampton Court, which I thought would be the perfect setting for such a video. And so we're going to go through the motions of the day, such as getting ready, having breakfast, all of that, and we're going to try to make it look aesthetic and then see what it actually looks like in real life. Let's give it a go. And now that I'm sadly out of my very comfortable bed, let's take a moment to talk about our sponsor, Brooklyn Inn. Brooklinen is giving you $20 off any order over $100 if you use my code CAT20 at checkout. Click the link below. Do you notice how aesthetic and soft my bed looks? Well, that's not me, that's Brooklinen. If you're like me, you might have skimped out on sheets before. It's one of those things as part of the household, you don't really think about it. Brooklyn gives you quality and comfort at an affordable price by cutting out the middleman. Brooklyn sheets are tried and true with over 19,000 five-star reviews. I would also give it a five-star review. But if you don't think about your sheets very often, think about this. A friend's mother had a realization recently that kind of blew my mind, which was you actually spend a third of your life in bed. A third! You might as well make it nice. I like Brooklinen because they're both high quality and aesthetic. I've never had sheets that are this high quality. And you know, as I've been setting up the new house, I really do feel like making things look look nice and aesthetic. You know how I am. Or it's a sort of self-care. I really enjoy it and it does make me feel better at the end of the day. And instead of buying individual items, you can save 25% by purchasing a hardcore bundle, which includes a core sheet, a duvet cover and extra pillowcases, which is what I have here. And you can mix and match over 25 colours and patterns. I got myself the best-selling Lux Setting Sheets. They're perfect for elevating your sheet game. These sheets feature a luxurious 480 thread, that's a lot of threads, 480 threads. 480 thread count and a slightly luminous finish. I woke up this morning, super comfy, super refreshed, and ready to take on this aesthetic day. So let's go. There's a lot to do. Now going to do makeup because even though people might look like they're not wearing makeup they are wearing makeup so we're going to go do that i'm going to do light makeup um which means it's like i'm going to use this which is like the technically a tinted moisturizer and just very light makeup let's go don't have time to be talking
and scene. And that took, this is light makeup, and that took 24 minutes. So, okay. <laughs> Originally I wanted to leave a 10, that doesn't seem to be happening, but let's move on to the outfit. Okay, so in terms of the outfit, I had a few options, I had a lot of options, I sew. But I wanted it to obviously be something aesthetic, and I wanted it to be something thematic, I guess. So obviously I put up an Instagram poll, um, actually the winner of that Instagram poll was a sort of modern Edwardian vibes. Um, however. Hampton Court is a Tudor home, well, it's a very everything home, but it is mostly known for its Tudorness. So I thought we would curse it up. I was actually going to wear one of my actual, like, medievally, completely hand-sewn curtials, but unfortunately I then remembered that the castle has their own costumed interpreters, and I didn't want to mess with that. I don't know, I just don't want to risk it. So instead, going to go with my modern medieval kirtle. If you want to learn how to make this super simple but super beautiful dress, I'll link the video down below. And now, and here we are. I am ready to go. So I'm going to get shoes, a coat, pack our picnic, and I'll see you at Hampton Court. So I forgot to bring my knife. I remembered everything else, that's not bad. So we are going to attempt to cut some cheese with the crisp. Ah! It's sort of working. That is... That's a tragedy. Whoa, it worked though. Not very aesthetic, but it worked. That is an abomination, is what happened there. Voila!
we? So I thought we could do a really quick wrap up of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of an experiment. I think my whole point with this is that I wanted to see what it was like to try and be those people on the photos on the Instagram that I see and envy all the time. I had a really excellent day out. It was absolutely beautiful. Hampton Court itself, absolutely worth the trip. If you're in the, ever in the area, I highly recommend. In terms of what I've learned today, I've learned that this, this stuff takes time. <laughs> it takes a really long time. It took me an hour and a half between waking up and actually leaving the house and I didn't get all the shots that I wanted. What something I discovered is that you need to be really patient and I sometimes I would tr I would see the shot that I wanted in my head but I couldn't get it in the photo or the video or you know like record it in the way that I saw it and I got really frustrated and I would just move on because I didn't want it to ruin the day out but I still think it was really interesting and I think creating content like this does appease or please uh, the aesthetic side of me um, but it is a lot of effort a lot so I'm really impressed by the people that put out videos and photos every week every day I'm really really impressed by all the work that goes into it and also it was, it was a really nice experience I particularly enjoyed the picnic I think it was really nice uh, and there were such small details like just yeah everything was trying to make it look pretty took its own time and then actually getting to enjoy it was a bit later but yeah, I had a really good time. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little different, but maybe we can do some more vloggy stuff in the future. I really like going to historic houses and things like that, so maybe I could show you around local places. Once again, thank you to Brooklyn for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to use my code CAT20 at checkout for $20 off purchases over $100. And I will see you all next week.